Hello, Collective, wherever you are. I hope you're somewhere safe, surrounded by love, light, happiness, joy, abundance, and filled with so much faith. Real quick, can you do me a favor? Can you hit that like button, please? Please hit share, and please hit subscribe, and turn that notification bell on to all, so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you like to donate, you do not have to. It's not a requirement, but it is truly appreciated. The information is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom up, but with all of my heart, ahead of time, to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so, and to everybody who has been. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless you, beautiful souls, tenfold. And for the super thanks and memberships and everything. Thank you, guys. May God bless you, beautiful souls, tenfold. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones that passed away. What does a collective need to know? Oh, somebody's going through chaos, destruction, upheaval, mayhem because you healed. Or coming, or because they're coming for you, possibly. I'm also getting whatever chaos, destruction, whatever you went through in your life, you transformed. You had a huge, huge makeover. Like, um, you trans transformed your life like so amazingly into this beautiful star that you're always destined to be and that you always were. Everyone's looking at you like, damn, how the hell did you do that? How did you go from every obstacle against you, like every tower they threw in your way, you still manage to rebuild yourself and become the star that you were always destined to be and you always were they tried so hard to dim that light that you know what i mean to, to dim your shine it's not happening you know who you are you know how amazing you are and ain't nobody gonna stop or block you or do no destiny swap and anybody else trying to get in the way of your destiny chaos destruction all people and mayhem <laughs> they're going through hell and high water you're having a major transformation, okay? Beautiful one. I like it. I love it. And they're going through, you know, hell and high water now because of what they did to you. You're getting justice. You're getting justice, okay? Because you healed. And you did everything in the upright. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, I pray you all have a beautiful and blessed day. Yeah, yo, in this in this court procedure, whatever this is, or your justice is for you to get ultimate wish fulfillment. Your dreams are coming true. I love it. I know that's right. Get ready, cause here I come. Beautiful. Mm. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time, please? Thank you. Yeah, somebody's trying to also cause some sort of chaos. They're trying to, like, tear sort them. It's not happening, though. Okay. You're protected through that. They slipped up like that, like how my car just went. They slipped up by doing something. They left some sort of, um, I don't know, maybe a red flag was thrown up, or they left some sort of, like, evidence or something. There's proof or something. They got themselves caught up in the web that they had, you know, entangled for you, intended for you. Somebody's a black widow. She got caught up in her own web. Yeah, an inheritance. Ten pentacles. Somebody stole an inheritance from me or tried to. You're getting it back, don't worry. This black widow is going down, down, baby. <laughs> All right. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please thank you. Also, I'm getting with this part of your justice is since you're doing everything in the upright, um, your wishes are coming true and you're creating your own generational wealth as well. But there was something about you're getting justice about a ten of pentacles, like either a bunch of money that was stolen from you or maybe it was actually an inheritance. Ten pentacles can be um, an inheritance or a wind flow. Like it's like a lot of money, a lot. Okay. Hmm. Emperor, whatever you're doing for work, you're bringing your own generational wealth. They're trying to stop this block this. There could be a father figure, an uncle figure, a masculine energy, a grandfather or somebody that could have possibly left you an inheritance or a masculine energy that could try to steal an inheritance from you or something like that. Whatever you're doing for work, keep doing it, darling. Show up. 
keep showing up, okay? Because you're creating your own generational worth. Um, <laughs> your own generational wealth. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like wait, what? <laughs> Holy Spirit. And there it is. Just like I caught that card. They got caught up for trying to steal an inheritance. Also, and they're getting big karma for this. You, my darling, are creating your own generational wealth as well. You're getting good luck, good karma, wheel of fortune, baby. Somebody might be trying to locate you to about this. Maybe you're like the missing person, like or whatever. They might be trying to locate you. Somebody's doing some sort of graveyard magic on you or necromancy. It's not working. Somebody's trying to bury evidence or like get rid of evidence or they're trying to bury um, like this money. They're going to get caught doing this or they already are. Somebody could have like mob ties or something like that or like gang affiliated ties or like club affiliated or something like that. Like group cult, um, you know, like sort of group cult club and secret society or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, these people that you walked away from, because you walked away and you kept your sword up from all these little douchebag losers um, that were stopping you, blocking you, blah, 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 blah. They're trying to locate you or something like that. But because you walked away and you kept your sword up, you're getting this inheritance back. You're getting good luck and fortune. You're creating your own generational wealth as well. And somebody wants to walk away from trying to attack you or something like that because you're getting your ass beat by karma. Karma's spacking that ass. Spacking that ass. Taking that name. Taking that name. Yeah, this group called Coven Secret Society. You healed from these people. They're being watched by somebody in the authorities. Like, a, they're being watched by the authorities. Yeah. There's a king and queen, baby. Yeah, you're about to become a union, I feel like. And you are very powerful, okay? They know that you're, like, they're watching you, too. And they see how powerful you are. And they're up all night boohoo crying. Because they know that it's over. They know they fucked up. They ran out of time. Somebody left some sort of evidence or something. They tried to frame you for something. It's not working, though. It's not going to work, Jack. Somebody's name could be Jack. Jackson could be someone's last name. Holy Spirit, Twine, Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Love the Fast. What does the collective need to know? Wow, okay, that's a lot. Alright. Everything's being balanced out for you because you're standing in your power, okay? Ten of Cups. You're about to have happy home, happy family, or this could be a karmic family that's come up against you. Or I feel like a family member left you this inheritance, okay? Everything's being balanced out for you. You're getting good luck and fortune, my darling. Somebody wants to apologize to you. Because they're caught up. They want to apologize. Why? Just so they can cause some more fights with you. Because they're going to prison. Or they want to apologize to you for fighting with you. Because they see you rapidly progressing. And guess what? They're going to prison for stealing this inheritance. And they want a passionate new beginning. Why? Because they see you rapidly progressing. They got all lies on you. Somebody was spying on you. Like peeping Tom and you or something. They're getting bad luck and fortune for this. Okay. You're getting passionate new beginnings. Everything's being balanced out for you when it comes to your foundation, your finances, your home. If you've been praying for a home, you're about to get one, darling. Yeah, whatever this is, they're going to prison. Whoever this is that was trying to stole your inheritance or attempted to. Your karmic ass family. But also, you're also, everything's being balanced out with your home life too. Like your family, like your non-karmic or whatever. Everything's... Whatever like situations like there was going on with you and your family, it's getting it's getting situated, okay? And you're getting ultimate wish fulfillment, like when it comes to your family and everything, okay? It's part of your justice. Yeah. And now people are in grief, pain, sorrow, agony because you're in this king of pentacles energy, you're about to be, okay? I know that's right. Whatever was left to you is a lot, okay? It was a lot. There could have been a house left to you, finances, there could have been vehicles left to you, property, estates. Okay, and they see every time they try to attack you, you just rapidly progress even more. Because it does the opposite effect. Derek, because you're in your purpose. It's not just like, what? <laughs> um, your heart chakra could be significant. They might be trying to atta uh, attach, oh, I was about to say attack, attach themselves to your heart chakra or something. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody could definitely have green eyes. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and loved ones that passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please thank you. They're being watched that when they try to bury money or whatever, or whatever they're doing, this whole thing, they're being watched for. They're dumb. They're being watched by the feds. Their house is being watched too. Someone's house is about to get raided. You went inward. You healed, right? You went, You could be in hermit mood. I feel like you're about to be coming out of hermit mood. Somebody's also like locking themselves in the house because like they, there's like a forced hermit mood. I feel like because people are turning on them now because they found out the truth. Somebody's scared of their own shadow because whatever they did, they know the cops are coming. They know it. They know, they can feel it. They can feel the, um, the heat. Your brows be moving away. There's someone's trying to run from the police because they know the one member percent Ace Old Street has come out about what they did to you and about this inheritance and the cops are coming for them. And all the lies, the betrayals, they're secretly in deep emotional pain because they know it's completely over. It's a complete ending. This could be your ex. You have someone coming in to protect you from these idiots and this devilish energy. Yeah, it's coming. Your 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 ships are coming in, okay? And this is the feds or somebody coming in, CIA, ATF, you know, Homeland Security, somebody coming in for these fools. They're going down, down, baby. <laughs> Holy Spirit, divine spirit, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away. Ace of Pentacles, baby, look at this. There was some sort of, um, there was some sort of, what do you call it, uh, um, safety deposit box that was left to you a lot of freaking money, honey. You're getting justice. Ace of Pentacles here. There was a house, safe deposit box, there's like, well, um, trust funds or something like that that was left to you. They're they're going through heavily burdened. They're heavily burdened for fighting with you for whatever they tried to cause. You know, they're heavily burdened. Like, they wish they never fought with you. They wish it would have been on your side because they know that they're watching you. They got their eyes on you. They see you getting this good luck and fortune. They know that this is coming back to you. And they're going to prison and they're running out of time for what they stole from you. They stole this inheritance and possibly a car from you and possibly a house. Whatever it is, they're watching you. They see you as this Queen of Pentacles. I know that's right, boo. Get that. Whatever it is, it's a lot of money. It's part of your justice. You know, they're, you're getting justice for this, but it's part of your justice to be happy, you know, um, have a happy home, happy family, and to finally be at peace. And it's happening, okay? And to be around, like, loyal people, all right? Um, this is why God had to rip you away from everybody and put you in hermit mood because everybody you were around were all snakes, okay? They are all had their hands. Everybody knew about it except for you. You were the one that was, you know what I mean? They, everybody knew about it. Everybody that was in your life was, was planning and plotted there, okay? Um, they are all there to keep an eye on you, to stop you, block you, and try to sidetrack you, get you, keep you off balance, make you look like, like you were crazy so that they could get away with this, but it, they're not getting away with it no longer. Um, it's been going on for quite some time. It could be for some of you years, okay? years for some of you um you're getting this justice though it's happening and look in the justice whatever this this court hearing is going to be you're getting ultimate wish fulfillment it's going to be um the best possible outcome you can ever imagine you're never going to have to work again a day in your life and it's part of your justice your ancestors want you when you get this to like invest it or like you know um you know start some businesses or something like that you know what i mean do something where you're going to get money coming back in and where you can help other people obviously make sure you know you give back you know give back to the community um do what however you want to do that okay do some sort of charity events or something possibly i don't know whatever you want to do you know give back to like children you know with cancer um somebody could have had cancer could have passed away from cancer somebody could have cancer um helping animals veterans you know stuff like that whatever whatever you want to do but also like create like a start a business where you can have generational wealth coming in as well i feel like some of you like already started like are in that process but like you know um when you get this money it's going to really be able to put you over where you can definitely start whatever you want you know what i mean you can do whatever you want <laughs> you're going to be like you know um 
literally financial you, you're, you're gonna be like you know you ain't gonna have no limits to what you have what you can and cannot buy you know what i mean it's like having a um permanent black card or whatever the hell it's called or gold whatever it's called yeah they're trying to mm, you're manifesting a house okay they're running out of time they notice oh it's they're doing death magic on you they're doing death magic on you. It's not working. They want to apologize because they spent a lot of money on this death magic too. They're trying to end something. They're sending everything's being bounced out with your home and whatever these idiots are doing. Okay, this death magic. They're trying to cause endings in every area and aspects of your life and to you actually your life. They want. They're trying to get you to be deleted from this, this planet. It's not going to happen. God needs you here, so you're going to be here. And we have 10 tenants. Completion is the end of a cycle for them doing this shit. And they're trying to stop your finances and everything else. They're trying to stop your forward movement, your progression, but it's not happening. It's all it's going to do. Um, and we also have, oh, wow, there's another 10, 10. Here, 10, 10, and then 10, 10. Yeah. All it's doing is um, speeding everything up more for you. So by all means, go ahead, idiots. Keep doing it. <laughs> not smart, homie. It's not a smart idea. Let me just say, you might want to set the fuck down, okay? And take a scene. Because all you're doing is ending things for yourself and speeding things up for the collective. Not smart, bro. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones that passed away. What does the collective need to know? Six of Pentacles in the reverse. I don't know how this card's in the reverse, but hey, I don't know. Yeah, they lost, um, they, this, whatever these people were, they're trying to end your, like, some sort of generous blessings or, like, people being generous to you. you there was a generous blessing. This obvious inheritance was. They're trying to end this. But it's a painful permanent ending to people being generous to them now because they cursed themselves and their bloodline. Not smart. Yeah, they're trying to end, they're doing magic to try to end um, people being generous to you. It's not happening, okay? They're trying, yeah, because they know you have a bunch of options and opportunities coming your way. They're trying to end that. It's not happening. They spend a generous amount of money on this, too. They just spend, <laughs> well, guess what, Karmics? You just spent a lot of money to curse yourself, bud, okay? Not smart. You might want to stop. <laughs> you might want to stop while you're not ahead. <laughs> Before you get yourself in more, more trouble. You know, one thing to learn. I just don't get it. But hey, it's their fault. They don't have to deal with their own consequences. You know what I mean? Because you're going to keep winning. What I just say. You're going to keep winning. So, victory, success, public recognition, possibly even fame. They're trying to end your, your fame, your success. Yeah, your public recognition. It's not happening. It's not happening, Plus, it Keep showing up. Keep doing you and just know God got your back like a bra strap. Holy Spirit. There you go. Okay. They feel left out in the cold. Another five plus five is another ten. So another ten. Ten. You're completing. You're closing out and completing um, a lot of cycles. All right. Somebody's doing witchcraft on you. They feel left out in the cold. That's why they're attacking everything. Because you, you turned somebody down or something. You know. They're fucking losers. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. They feel left out in the cold because they stole. They're holding on to this inheritance. And they're going to prison for it. They're being watched. They're running out of time. They know it. And they're trying everything they can to, um, to hold you back from creating your own generational wealth. And try, they're doing everything they can like to, to hold you back from getting your, what's destined for you. And, you know, your, your progression. They're going to prison for what they did. All they're doing is delaying themselves. They're watching you. They see that, like, no matter how hard they try to hold you back from you know, your your finances and everything else, it keeps speeding up that you're still in the Queen of Pentacles energy. They're like, what? <laughs> like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> it's the world card. It's a completion. It's end of a cycle. Someone's going to end up passing away. I'm telling you right now. You're getting passionate in the beginning. Yeah. You're manifesting a whole new world. There's something being bounced out. Something to do with the internet. Somebody trying to hold you back. Something about the internet. That's being bounced out, okay? 
and you're because they know that you're going to be known around the world for whatever it is that you're you're doing they're going through chaos destruction of people and mayhem and everything's being balanced out for you for everything that they put you through you're going to get a major blessing you're going to see the balls off these people and you're going to get eight pentacles from it and you are you learn to you're doing something online okay or you're about to if you're not already you're about to manifest if you didn't already you, you're doing something online or you're about to be where you're going to figure out a creative way or you're or you already are to turn all your towers in your life all your chaos your destruction your upheaval your mayhem all the pain the suffering the sorrow that you've been through in your world and you're going to end up like turning it around and creating something very unique um online or like where the world can see it and it's going to and it's going to help other people it's going to be very healing to other people because it's going to help other people around the world be able to get through their struggles because they're going to look at you like as the inspiration that you are and see that you are able to make it out you know it's gonna, like your testimony is going to um save so many people's lives and give them the strength the courage the hope and the power to get through their struggles and because everyone's like all right well if collective can do it i can do it and you know you have a such a powerful testimony and you are just living proof that god is very much so real and god don't fucking play when that you know with people that that mess with you all right so now somebody was apologizing because they see that and they see that whatever this is that you are doing or you're about to be creating is bringing you major abundance. You're going to get a message. Somebody might be trying to reach out to you to apologize to you, but they're being told to ignore that call or that text or maybe they already did. I feel like maybe you did block it and you didn't answer it. And if you did, like... If they didn't hit you up yet, you're being told, don't answer this, okay? Because they're just trying to cause some sort of chaos. They're call they're, they want to pretend like they're calling to apologize, but they really just want to fight with you because they're, they're heavily burdened because they're trying to crawl his little snake ass to your, your... Look at this, look at this. They really just want to cause chaos to you and make it hard for you to get to this. They want you to be on your knees begging. Like, if really, they're just trying to creep to your, your blessings. You're, this is like your vote of, of, of abundance. They're just trying to snake their little bitch asses in to your finances. That's not happening, Collective. We ain't allowing that. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Return that shit back to sender times a hundredfold. All right. Um, but yeah, and they're heavily burdened because either you, it didn't work because you've seen it coming from a mile away. And I <laughs> just thought of Kid Rock. I can smell a pig from a mile away. <laughs> um, what do you call it? <laughs> yeah they're heavily burdened because it didn't work because you've seen it coming from a mile away and they feel left out that's why they're trying to dig their claws into you know into your bag and like you're just a crawl they're trying to like creepy crawly their little creep asses to your blessings 23 on the clock um but yeah you healed god heard your prayer sweetie pie and because you healed and god heard your prayers you did everything in the upright so you've been praying for four you've been praying um, about this, this, you know, abundance, about whatever this was that was taken from you. Yeah, God that heard your prayers, and guess what? It's happening. You're getting, you're, you're being praying for passionate new beginnings. You've been praying for whoever sold your inheritance to get caught up in, like, your justice. You're getting it. If you've been praying for a car, sweetheart, you're getting it. Because their time's up. They know it. Because you healed, okay? Everything is because you healed. And you found, like, you know your purpose you're in, you're doing every like you're doing everything with god you're doing everything you know what i mean you're you this is why this is all happening and you're not allowing them to trick you out of your spot you're getting such a good luck and karma okay because you healed yeah five of swords all these little douchey douche magooshes that are smiling your face stabbing you in the back you've been praying you know what i mean for for you know your justice now all and you're getting it. Now all these people are smiling in your face, stabbing you in the back. They're praying to God that you you'll let them come back in. They're praying to God that they don't, you know, the wrath isn't so bad. They know that you're, yeah, there's somebody smiling in your face, tapping you in the back. That Because you're a high priestess. They know that you're a high priestess. So if you have a platform, which I feel like you do. If you have a platform, there's somebody on your platform smiling in your face, stabbing you in the back, okay? But you already intuitively know this because you are a high priestess. 
they weren't expecting you like yeah the, the, these people from your past that were smiling in your face stabbing you in the back you got these these people shook with their jaw like dropped and open like what <laughs> we didn't realize the collective we knew the collective was intuitive but we didn't know like the collective was tapped all the way in yeah idiots they might even be like trying to get you to pray for them and shit heal them And again, if you've been praying for a house, you're getting a house, I'm telling you right now. Just stay in your face. Keep showing up, okay? Don't let these people affect you because they're just, you know, they're from your past. We don't forget their names. You know what I mean? Like, you don't even, you're never, they're in your past. You're never going to, you, you, they're, you, they're not part of your life no more. They've been exposed. They see you're happy. Yeah, all these lies that they were spreading about you, this lying ass dude that like you know pathological liar wakes up tells a lie lies all all throughout the day and night goes to sleep still lying wakes up lying you know what i mean it's a completion to end of a cycle to this pathological liar habitual liar narcissistic piece of crap that was spying on you they can't spy on you no more if they're do they're doing some sort of divination spying or like if they had astral projection or whatever they or like remote viewing they're going through chaos destruction on people mayhem for doing that somebody's in your phone playing with your phone it's a painful permanent ending they were doing this because they stole this inheritance. This is why they're in your phone. This is why they've been watching you, gang stalking you and everything else. All the lies that were spread about you is, is a completion. They're going to prison for this. They've been exposed. Invading your privacy and everything else. Yeah, they're, they're done. It's a wrap. Exposure. They see you. They see you like actually happy, you know, truly happy. Without these losers because these people ain't in your life no more affecting you. They're just trying to drag you down with them, and it's not happening. They just want to sink their like their creepy little crawly little claws into you and drag them straight to hell, drag you to hell with them. That's not going to happen. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Yeah, cause they, and they see, as they watch, they say, oh, no, wow, well, well, you have many options coming your way. You have a lot of opportunities. And guess what? It's over because why? They cast in way too many illusions, so many lies, so much bull crap, and it's all returning to the center. Now, all the lies and manipulation, everything has come to light. And they're mad because they can't have no part. They ain't no parts of whatever this is. It's a painful permanent ending to them. You're going to get a message about somebody getting locked up or something? Oh, they're about to be getting a message. They better start running. <laughs> they can't run. They collect it. They can't run. They're being watched. Every move is being... Just like, just like while they're in your phone playing with your phone and watching you, they're being watched doing it. Like, what? Losers. The Empress. Confirmation, see? They got the message. They know you are a true 1 million percent Empress, okay? They're trying to cause a painful permanent ending to you. They're heavily burdened because they see how creative, how fertile you are. They're trying to end your fertility. Because whatever you're doing with your creativity and your fertility is bringing you major, major abundance. And they know it. And they're, they're trying to claw their way back into you too because they want to get into your sacral chakra. They want to they wanna, um, suck out all your creativity, your fertility. That's how they've been living. All, like, it's off of your creativity, your energy. Well, guess what? Everything I said is a source of truth. And well, guess what? The one million percent a source of truth has come out. And these idiots about them holding on. Oh, this is your outcome. Okay, guys. This is a quick one. Good. Um, yeah. The one million percent a source of truth has come out that you healed, right? And... I'm telling you, this has been coming out. For somebody out there, this inheritance, they, they, there was like a stipulation or something that you had to be sober for like, I don't know, maybe like a year or something. But they, they were going around lying, saying that you've been, that you're out here getting high, and it's not true. You've been sober like for years. And they've been out here lying, saying that you've been out here getting high and everything else. But the one million percent a source truth has come out that no, you healed. You don't. You're not doing. You're you're not you're not out here getting high. They're in deep emotional pain because one million percent a source truth has come out, and this is coming back to you. Some about a house or deep emotional pain about it. You you have a solid foundation. Everything being bounced out with your solid your solid foundation. They're they're trying to manifest. They're trying to manifest you to have a heart attack. So guess what? 
right back at them. What they're trying to manifest for you is going to happen to them. They're manifesting for themselves. Their deep emotional pain is the ending. And they're trying to attach themselves to your root chakra too. Um, it's not going to happen, bro. There's a lot of blood out here. There's something here. This could be your own flesh and blood that's doing this. There's a lot of blood out here. They could have did a blood sacrificial ritual or some shit. I don't know, bro. This is crazy. They're creepy. It's, and it's a complete ending to them spying on you. And like invading your privacy and stuff. Somebody could have lost their 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 gifts. Um, or they're being watched. Plotting and planning your death. Ten of pentacles. I mean ten of swords with a death card over top of it. Somebody passed away. Dude, I don't know. I've been feeling so calm today. So like at peace. Like in, like, like crazy at peace today. I wonder if someone... And remember I told y'all when that happened, you're going to feel the shift. Like I literally feel so at peace all day today just like a warm fuzziness inside me all day like literally like the presence of god all day i wonder if somebody passed away somebody that's been causing you all these problems they're mad because you moved on and it's a painful permanent ending maybe they moved on moved on maybe they passed away that's why they came 11 31 11 on the clock Somebody could have fucking passed away. Maybe that's why they can't watch you anymore. My condolences to the family. Dude, it's like crazy how like at peace I've been like all day, like like literally all day. It just, I just feel overwhelming calmness. Like overwhelming, like a great, like it feels amazing. Don't get me wrong, I love it, but... I just feel like I can't even explain it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you like if you have this feeling too. But like, it literally just is like an overwhelming calmness, like and it's a warm, fuzzy feeling. You know what I mean? Like at peace. Like it literally just feels like at peace. Somebody could have passed away. I'm telling you right now. And the Ace of Swords truth has come out about why you moved away, why you moved on, and that you are. You came out of rough waters and you're moved in, into smooth sailing because you healed. And there's deep emotional pain about this. That they can't cause you no chaos in your life. They can't unalive you. And there's a complete ending. It's over. It's a wrap. Because they've been exposed and they see that you are happy. You moved on. You moved forward. You're out of rough waters. You healed. And now you're happy. Successful. Independent. You have all this vitality. You're like, you, you know... You're, you're at peace. And they've been exposed. So there's something about exposure for a death. Nine of Pentacles. I really feel like somebody passed away. I feel that deep inside of me. Remember, I've been telling y'all, you're going to feel the difference. You're going to notice the difference. And I feel like a huge shift. Huge shift. like overwhelming like calm like you know what i mean um you're single self-sufficient independent and they see this they see you happy they try to stop they tried to so hard to stop this somebody passed away i'm telling you right now someone passed away 